prediction of coronary disease events through traditional risk factors is less accurate in elderly patients than in middle-aged adults. We all are aware that lipid status, hypertension, and other risk factors are less reliable, but we may have overlooked the value of an old standby in older folks, the EKG. Now in JAMA, there is a report on EKG abnormalities which are common in older adults and their value for coronary disease prediction. The researchers studied more than 2,000 white and black adults aged 70 to 79 years from the Health Aging and Body Composition Study, which is known, of course, as the Health ABC Study. All were without known coronary disease at the beginning of the study, had baseline and four-year EKG abnormalities that were classified according to the Minnesota Code as major and minor, and were followed for eight years for outcomes. During follow-up, baseline minor and major EKG abnormalities were indeed associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease after adjustment for traditional risk factors. When EKG abnormalities were added to a model containing traditional risk factors alone, 14% of intermediate risk participants with both major and minor EKG abnormalities were correctly reclassified. Both new and persistent EKG abnormalities were associated with an increased risk of subsequent coronary events. Well, what should we make of all this? I, for one, am delighted that an old friend, the EKG, is still useful. Major and minor EKG abnormalities among older adults are associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease events. Don't overlook those so-called nonspecific EKG abnormalities when you care for older patients, especially if those abnormalities are new. Adding EKG abnormalities is associated with improved risk prediction beyond traditional risk factors. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.